FBI releases document with details of alien bodies, spaceships, and planets. The document declassified by FBI states, part of the disks carry crews, others are under remote control, and the bodies of the visitors and the craft also automatically materialize on entering the vibratory rate, vibratory rate of our dense matter. Numerous governments around the world are slowly coping with the idea that the worldwide population has a right to know whether or not we are alone in the universe. In fact, the disclosure movement has never been as strong as it is today, with countless military officers, government officials, and astronauts speaking out about the existence of alien life and alien spacecraft. Among all of the governments on the planet, it's believed that the United States have a lot of disclosure to do. Presidential candidate Hillary Clinton has stated that if she were elected president of the United States, she would disclose all alien-related documents and get to the bottom of the UFO phenomenon. And uh, it was uh, John Podesta, who was President Barack Obama's right-hand man and chief of staff under the Clinton administration, tweeted uh, that uh, one of his biggest regrets of 2014 was his failure to secure the disclosure of UFO files and that the time to pull the curtain back on this, since this subject is long overdue. We have statements from the most credible sources, those in the position to know, about a fascinating phenomenon, the nature of which is yet to be determined. But despite serious attempts of disclosure, the government of the United States still maintains that it do not have knowledge of any information related to the alien UFO phenomenon. However, many maintain that the reason that why disclosure has not happened yet is not because of the government. It's very likely that such a subject matter uh, might even go for, far beyond, extending into powerful corporations and a tight group of international elites, for example. Many governments around the globe have declassified a number of UFO-related documents, which only proves that they have been extremely interested in the UFO phenomenon for years. However, not only have governments released classified information, agencies such as FBI, NSA, and CIA have also declassified some of their most secretive files on UFOs and alien life in the universe. Getting to the bottom of the declassified FBI documents, the original one can be found by visiting the link which uh, will take you to the FBI's vault on declassified documents. The declassified document was addressed to, quote, certain scientists of distinction, end quote, to aeronautical and military authorities and to a number of public officials. The declassified document is a letter sent to FBI director in Washington from their San Francisco office detailing UFOs and extraterrestrials. Lieutenant Colonel XX of G2 San Francisco advised today he has no further information and that our Seattle office is in possession of all information known by him and is handling the matter at Tacoma, Washington. And the, you have the official FBI document is here in the body of the article for you to look at. It's uh, also on the website of the FBI. The document dated July 8, 1947. We know that was about four days after the Roswell crash. The day after the UFO incident at Roswell described the following. One, part of the disc carries crew, crews, others are under remote control. Two, their mission is peaceful, the visitors contemplate settling on this planet. Three, these visitors are human-like but much larger in size. Four, they are not excarnate earth people but come from their own world. Five, they do not come from any planet as we use the word, but from the etheric planet which interpenetrates our own and is not perceptible to us. Six, the bodies of the visitors and of the craft also automatically materialize on entering the vibratory state rate of our dense matter. Seven, the disks possess a type of radiant energy or a ray which will easily disintegrate any attacking ship. They re-enter the etheric at will and so simply disappear from our vision without trace. Eight, the region from which they came is not the astral plane, but corresponds to the locus or talus. Students of esoteric matter will understand these terms. 
Nine, they probably cannot be reached by radio, but probably can be by radar if a signal system can be devised for that. Nevertheless, this constitutes merely a single document among a plethora of files disseminated to the public. Each intricately detailed the occurrence of the visits. Numerous enigmas persist, although the aforementioned documents offer captivating insight into the visitations, they inevitably give rise to a myriad of questions, such as, could there be multiple races of aliens? Are they confined to the physical realm, or do they exist in extra-dimensional spaces? And this is on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments, and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.